Oh, good evening, friends. It's Pierre. Pierre Bones from Indianapolis, Indiana. And uh, I'm doing my prediction on, um, and this is essentially a message to the Democratic Party. Folks are going to be out partying in Denver. It ain't going to be much of a party. And um, the superdelegates, delegates, Democratic leadership, uh, the President and Senator Clinton and uh, Barack Obama, Senator Barack Obama and his people. Uh, we're um, on our, well on our way to losing the third presidential election in a row, one in which we should have won like the last two. And the reason that we're going to lose this election is because the Democratic superdelegates and uh, the superdelegates <coughs> um, have not been able to come to their senses and realize that Barack Obama is not going to win this election. And I'm not saying that because I want him to lose. I would hope that he would win. I would prefer that Miss Clinton and Evan Bayer were leading this ticket uh, because we would have won this uh, presidential election. But um, uh, I'm putting this out because I know what I know. I know what the American public, the citizens of the state, in Indiana, in Marion County, I know what they haven't been told. I know what happened. I was there. I was a candidate. And hopefully you'll listen to my story and govern yourselves accordingly because unless we get enough delegates to pull this party back from the brink of an another electoral disaster uh, that anybody can go look at the state's leading Republican um, on right now August 18th of 2008 and look at the state's leading Democrat and uh, we're not going to get any of the state's leaning Republican. You can forget about that. And um, as for the state's leading Democrat, that's based on the fact that we've got a, uh, a Democrat, um, you know, uh, presidential candidate. But um, we, we'd be good to hang on to some of those states. Barack Obama is losing in Florida. But Ms. Clinton out polls uh, John McCain down there two polls to one or two polls to zero. So we're not going to win Florida. You can forget about North Carolina and Virginia. That's why T uh, Tim Kaine will not be the nominee with Barack Obama because he can't deliver uh, Virginia. I don't believe he can. Um, people think that Barack Obama is going to win New York. Hmm. Well, they got a black governor up there. Uh, Barack Obama beat uh, Senator Clinton. And I just don't think uh, the citizens of New York... Um, are going to, they already have a black president, I don't think they're going to uh, vote for, I mean a black governor, I don't think they're going to vote for a black president. That's my personal opinion. I don't think he's going to win New York. I'd be surprised. Um, and then if you just look at the electoral map in other places, we're not going to win Pennsylvania. Uh, we're not going to win uh, Ohio. Uh, Michigan, who knows. It's a toss up. I doubt we'll win there. Um, especially with what's going on with Kwame and everybody else. Um, so there it is in a nutshell. If we would have had Miss Clinton leading this ticket, she would have put Evan Bayer right there in the vice president spot. And as I told you guys in a previous video, it was Miss Clinton and Evan Bayer. We also have Jill Long Thompson running for governor and Linda Pence running for attorney general. That's three women at the top of the ticket. That would have generated so much enthusiasm and to the point that we would have won the state here in Indiana. And Miss Clinton's a threefer. You get New York, you get Indiana, and you get Arkansas. Okay? Those three, she brings along those three states. And to me, it's just mind-boggling how the Democrats are going to throw this election away. Um, if you get to the convention, um, don't worry about what African Americans think or how they would react to Barack Obama losing um, at the convention. Because, quite frankly, I am I am uh, sorely disappointed in the amount and how the African American community and leadership have just flipped on the Clintons. I mean. Barack Obama has not uh, put uh, black federal judges on the bench. Barack Obama has not gone out and raised millions of dollars for African-American candidates uh, for those congressional seats. 
uh, Barack Obama didn't put um, uh, uh, black cabinet members, uh, Ron Brown, Alexis Herman, uh, Hazel O'Leary. And, and I would submit to you that even if he becomes president, he's not going to be able to put as many African Americans in positions of authority as a Clinton would have, or as the president uh, did when he was in office. And I am just accord um, at the, uh, the way uh, we have thrown the Clintons over, under the bus. And I'm not a part of that crowd. Uh, 